Hey, I'm Bobby Lee, and you're watching a new episode of Talking. I'm so excited because I have Margaret Cho in the studio. How about a round of applause for Margaret Cho, everybody? <laughs> I wouldn't be doing stand-up or anything without her because she was probably my biggest influence in terms of doing stand-up comedy. She paved the wave for us. What do we call it? What's the political correct term for? Um, uh, Gooks. Uh, Zipperheads. Zipperheads. For zipperheads, you know? No, no, no more ipo. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 Thank you. Are you working out? No. Well, I don't. I don't really do anything. You know, I'm just kind of like around. It's just. <laughs> it's just you know life, living it. Yeah. Doing it. You just. You're so skinny. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to talk about that? No, no, no. I just don't eat anything Pro if I can. Protein. Well, no, not even really that. Yeah. Just alcohol, maybe. You know, Are your the... eyes blue a little bit? God bless you. Thank you so much. Are they a little bit? Blue? I have five percent white in my system. Wait, what? Yeah. Tinta? I drink white blood. You, are your eyes naturally like that? Because some Asians, you know what they do? Yeah. More. Yeah, go, go. But what we're talking about is Asians, they get operation in their eyes to make them look. Like, yeah, it's called blepharoplasty. Yeah. Blepharoplasty like this. And then um, they make them uh, bigger. Yeah, and then they look Mexican. That's what happens. <laughs> right? They look Latino kind of. I also think they look a little bit like Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Like the round, you know what I mean? And it, like Bjork. Yeah. They want to look like Bjork. But Bjork is kind of Asian too, so like what is it? Well, so she's, is she Russian? Icelandic, which I guess must be similar. It's kind of up there, you know, when you... I, sometimes you, like, you go, I go, well, when do you stop being white? When does it, you know, like what is it? Because you know, like, you know those guys, those cute guys that made that bomb in Boston? They're so cute, those guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, are they I'm, white? I know. And people were like being mad on the internet for people saying that that one guy, that one that lived, that was cute, but he's cute as fuck. Come on. I mean, no, they're both. I think they're both pretty cute. Yeah, I mean, the, but that kid that they caught looks like he's in the Strokes. Yeah, like he's, um, yeah, he's totally gonna go Some out with Drew Barrymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's totally from the Strokes. That yeah, guy. yeah. If I was that good looking, it's like I would be doing all the, all these other things aside from that. Yeah, but it's good to know that there's still hot people making bombs. <laughs> you know, like I, I was like, oh, thank God. Right, because yeah, for a while okay. there was a trend that was like ugly people doing it. Well, I don't know if anybody, I don't have a visual image of anybody who's made a bomb in my mind, except for that guy. And he's pretty good looking, so it's like... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So, you don't get bitter in this business? No, because I've done really well, and yeah. I, I continue to do really well. I really enjoy it. Your, your parents were on board in the beginning. They could no, have been. they were not. They yeah. were really upset at me. What would they say? Well, like, I have a joke about it in my act where I told my mama when I was 14 I was going to be a comedian, and she goes, Oh, maybe it's better if you just die. <laughs> and then it's like, Well, that's them. What the fucking, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then, but now I take care of them, you know? Yeah. When I did the Tonight Show, I did one. My dad called me the next day, and this is what he says Not good job. How much did you pay them? <laughs> he thought. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he thought that I paid them like 10 grand to get on TV. And I want to say, no, Dad, they asked me. Yeah. I'm good. Hey, you're great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're proud, though. They are, no, now they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, and it's really, it's wonderful. And I think you're really inspiring to a lot of people out there, you know, who watch you and go, I want to be like that guy. Because you also have a really rock and roll wild card element that... What, what, do, you so, mean, what, what do you mean? Well, you know, you have your, your history. You're sort of a little bit of a sordid past. You have a little bit of like... You know, just kind of don't know what's going to happen, don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, your comedy gets very, very raw and very dark, which... Well, I mean, I used to show my butthole and stuff. I don't do that anymore. I showed the inside out of my butthole on stage and never, they never had me back. Oh. Mm. Why were you mad, though, if you did well? I said it didn't do well. The last bit did not do well. Oh, it didn't do well. So they had, like, not... some Christian group there or something. Would, like, they don't have assholes? I've never seen a Christian's asshole. But well, like, I, they can't act like they don't have one, though. I, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna make the assumption that they have assholes. Yes. You know what? Jesus Christ had an asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ had everything that we have. I, I, don't, I don't believe that. I think it was like a Ken doll. Maybe, like, if you unzipped it, the, a, a light would shine. Boop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm proud. I'm proud okay. you showed your hole. I mean, I'm proud that you, you, know, you went to that. 
play. I, I want to say this though. You were probably one of the best guests I've ever had. And Good, um, I'm glad. And uh, I love you. I, I, I want to have a d different kind of relationship with you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You're closer. Much closer. Much closer. And I really, I, I love you so much. I've always loved you. So I love thank you. you so much for thank doing the show. Have a round of applause for Margaret Show, everybody. That was fantastic.